The Paz family live in Mawa, a small town in New Jersey, about 45 minutes northwest of New York City on the east coast of the USA. Jerry and Michelle have four children, three sons and one daughter. Amanda, who is at high school, is their eldest child. Gerald is 12 and Jeremy is seven. Their youngest son, Julian, is four years old. The family have two guinea pigs called Bart and Spider Pig. The family have lived in Mawa for 14 years. Before moving to their four-bedroomed house nine years ago, they lived in an apartment. Like many families in the United States, Jerry and Michelle come from very different cultural backgrounds. Jerry's parents, Victor and Lola, live nearby. My name is Lola Paz. My name is Victor Paz. We come from Lima, Peru. Jerry was also born in Lima, but in 1978, when he was 13 years old, his parents made the difficult decision to move to the United States. The family had five children and hoped that there were more jobs and opportunities in the USA. Today, Jerry works in a hospital. I work at the uh, Valley Hospital um, as an uh, uh, information systems uh, technician. Um, I've been working there for the past uh, almost seven years now, and it's been uh, not only a pretty much a rewarding job, but also uh, I have uh, learned a lot from, uh, uh, from the uh, business point of view. Michelle was born in the U.S., but her birth parents were from the Philippines. She was adopted by an Irish-American family when she was just six days old, and she grew up in the New York area. Well, I was born in the now-closed St. Vincent's Hospital in New York City in the early 70s, and I was given up for adoption when I was six days old. My biological parents are Filipinos from the Philippines, and because I was born in New York, that makes me Filipino-American. And my adoptive parents are Irish-American. I think like my great-grandparents came over from Ireland. And the grandparents and then my parents were, also, were born here in New York. Michelle isn't working at the moment. She stays at home to look after the kids. Well, maybe we should give Amanda some straight- I used to work outside the house. Years ago, I worked in the garment district in New York for a women's clothing retailer for about seven years, but the economy changed, so I lost my job. So I've been home with the kids for the last couple of years. Jerry and Michelle met 20 years ago, and they have been married for 15 years. They met while they were working together in a department store. And I was in, still in high school, and I started talking to him. And I, just as a joke, because again, this is, I didn't know a lot about the Philippines or its culture. I see Jerry walking down the aisle, and I said, excuse me, excuse me, are you Filipino? And he thought, he said, are you talking to me? And I said, yeah, yeah, you, come here, come here. And I started talking to him. I said, hi, my name is Michelle. I was just curious, are you Filipino? And he says to me, yes. And then he walks away. So I go back to folding my sweaters and doing my job as a part-time salesperson. He comes back over and he says, I'm sorry, Michelle. I'm not, I, I was only kidding. I'm not Filipino. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, where are you from? He said, Peru. He started laughing. We started talking, hanging out. And 15 years, four kids later, we're married and doing the best we can, living our lives. The family is close-knit, and Lola and Victor play an important role in family life. They teach their children and grandchildren about their Peruvian cultural identity. For Michelle, it's more difficult to pass on her Filipino identity. I'm glad that my in-laws are involved in our lives, and I can honestly say that I'm very lucky for having such wonderful, open-minded, welcoming people in my family. I'm still trying to learn about the Philippines and its culture because I know um, nothing of it. So at this point in time, I can't really pass any knowledge on to my children. Any kind of cultural identity, cultural customs, traditions have been passed down to the children from the Peruvian side. 
as my children have their father, you know, my husband, and their grandparents who are still in touch with their culture to teach them about the language, the customs, the traditional dress, the dances. We're still learning that. My mother-in-law, she's an amazing Peruvian food cook, and she's been feeding me basically since I, Jerry walked in and introduced me to his family. So I've seen all different kinds of cuisines and entrees from the Peruvian side, and a lot of the stuff is delicious. I've also learned how to cook some of the things, and which has also made Jerry happy. The Paz family are happiest when they are together, and Jerry cherishes his time at home. Whenever I see him smiling, laughing, having a good time, and um, there are quite a few times where, like, uh, I just can't wait to get out of work, be home with my kids, you know, see them, uh, be with them, be with my wife, and and uh, see them happy. Yeah. But still, sometimes life can be difficult, and there are many challenges to overcome. Their oldest son, Gerald, suffers from autism. It's very difficult for him to communicate with other people, and he needs special help and support. But the family not only work together to help Gerald overcome his disability, but they also help raise money for research into autism. Some of the things that make the family the happiest are when we are doing activities that are either helpful to ourselves or helpful to others. For example, we did an aut a Northern New Jersey autism walk last weekend. We were very happy to walk as a team and help raise money to fund autism research. Jerry and Michelle worry about the future for all of their children. I worry that there'll be, there will be appropriate jobs for them after they finish college, or that I worry that they'll find the right people, and it, whether it's someone of their own race and culture or, just, or someone different. I worry that they'll be happy and not have to go through personal pains and challenges. But like their parents before them, they simply want to do the best for their children and hope that whatever happens, their children are happy.